Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. If you are having software issues on Windows 11, whether settings are not responding or random crashes, then this video will walk you through the real solution using Windows built-in tools. These steps are safe, reliable, and don't require any third-party software. So let's get started. First, always I recommend you start with the basics. This method is 100% official and safe. You can call it an in-place upgrade. And it's one of the easiest way to fix deep system problems without doing any advanced method. The best part is you don't lose your personal files, apps or settings. It just refreshes your system files and gives you a clean state. Kind of like hitting refresh on your computer without weaving it. To perform this, go to settings. Then Windows Update. Click on Advanced Options. Scroll down and click Recovery Options. Under Fixed Problems using Windows Update, look for something like Reinstall Now. This only shows if Windows detects certain problems. If you don't see it, you can also use the Windows Installation Assistant from Microsoft website to do a repair install. This downloads a fresh copy of Windows and reinstalls it. Don't worry, it's keeping your files and apps safe. If your PC is still acting strange, like apps crashing, menu not working, or random system glitches, there's a chance some of your system files are damaged or missing. To fix this, you can use these two powerful built-in tools in Windows 11. These tools scan for corrupt or broken system files and automatically repair them. And these tools together can fix a huge range of software problems. And of course, they don't touch your files and settings. By the way, I have already made a full step-by-step -step advanced tutorial on how to use SFC and DISM properly in advanced way. Check out that video if you want more detailed walkthrough. If your PC won't start properly, like it freezes during boot, crashes before reaching the desktop, or shows a black or blue screen, you may be dealing with the startup related problems. In that case, you can use Startup Repair, a built-in Windows tool designed to fix boot related issues automatically. Now let's see how you can access it. If you can't even access the settings menu, turn on your PC and force shut it down by holding the power button. Do this 2-3 to three times on the next report. Windows should automatically enter recovery mode. From there, go to Troubleshoot, then Advanced Option, then Startup Repair. This is a common way to trigger recovery mode when your system refuses to start normally. If the issue is caused by corrupted Windows registry, Startup Repair might not fix it. But don't worry, I have already made many separate detailed videos on how to fix corrupt Windows system related issues. Make sure to check out our detailed videos if you suspect the problem corrupted Windows system related. If you are still facing issues, watch the other videos I have linked in the card and description.
they go even more deeper. So I hope this quick guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.